Welcome back to the DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. On the agenda today, Apple seeks to block sales of the Galaxy Nexus, Reddit cleans up its act, Google Wallet halts prepaid card use, and Samsung unveils its first Android 4.0 tablet. Apple's legal war on Android phones has escalated. Last Thursday, Apple filed a motion for preliminary injunction against the Galaxy Nexus, the first device to carry Google's Android 4.0 operating system. The Cupertino company cites four patents that Samsung and Google have infringed upon, including how a user unlocks the phone from sleep, autocorrect features while typing, universal search, and an act called data tapping, which enables search through unstructured data like email and calendars. Apple has been vigorously suing companies like Samsung and HTC in courts around the world for several years now. Popular link sharing website Reddit.com is finally cleaning up its act. On Sunday, administrators of Reddit, a subsidiary of publishing giant Condé Nast, announced they will no longer allow users to post suggestive or sexual content featuring minors. The policy change follows criticism from CNN's Anderson Cooper and a recent campaign by users of SomethingAwful.com to label Reddit a child pornography website. Reddit's admins say they've long reported blatantly illegal content to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, but that the new policy better addresses legally gray content, like photos of underage girls in bikinis. While some Reddit users say the censorship policy damages the site's reputation as a staunch supporter of free speech, many more welcomed the change. So far, about 30 of the site's 100,000-plus sections, known as subreddits, have been shut down as a result of this new policy. In response to an exploit discovered by hackers last week, Google has halted the prepaid credit card feature of its Google Wallet app. The bug could allow an unauthorized user to access your prepaid card if that person steals your phone, though it's only possible if you do not have a PIN password on the unlock screen of your device. The search giant says it will reactivate the prepaid feature once it has a permanent fix for the issue. Google Wallet works in conjunction with a special near-field communications chip to turn your phone into a virtual wallet. It can hold credit cards, debit cards, bank account information, prepaid cards, and coupons. Until the issues discovered last week, it's had a fairly clean security record since its debut in mid-2011. Samsung has unveiled a new version of its Galaxy Tab 7.0 tablet today, which runs Android 4.0, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich. The new tablet will be the first Samsung device to run Google's new Android OS, which was released to developers in December. It will launch in the UK and then around the world starting in March. That does it for today. As always, thanks for watching DT Daily. Make sure to check back on Digital Trends later today for our complete review of Motorola Droid 4 for Verizon.